What's goody, Barons? It's been a while. On today's episode, we'll take a trip to the past and get a lesson on the history of slang, meet another Bartiste, and watch 100 Barons talk about their New Year's resolutions. I'm Maya Broadwater. And I'm Piero Vasquez. And, and you're, you're watching, watching BCC, BCC TV. So, Piero, what's going on in the news this week? At the start of this week, President Trump told reporters that he was considering invoking executive authority to resolve the government shutdown and secure funding for his border wall. With more than 45 million views in the first week alone, Bird Box has been the best showing of the first seven days of a Netflix original movie. One of the themes of the movie is that the lead characters spend much of the film wearing blindfolds. A dangerous social media fad dubbed hashtag Bird Box Challenge sprung from this core concept. Some of the movie's most ardent fans have set about to mimic this dystopian future by engaging in a variety of mundane everyday activities while wearing a blindfold, then posting those videos on social media. If you're going to participate in this challenge, please be careful. In BCC News, the used book sale needs students to help sort books. Come get SSL hours and participate in one of the biggest BCC fundraisers. It's tomorrow, Saturday, January 12th, 12, 12, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Auditions for next year's Chamber Singers will be taking place next week, January 14th through 17th. Please sign up for an audition spot on the sign-up sheet on the chorus room door. Auditions will take place during lunch and after school. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask Ms. Aiken. Maya, do you ever wonder what kind of slang our parents used to use, you know, when they were our age? I mean, not really. They're always questioning my slang, so I just assume that they don't understand, like, the dimensions of slang. No, no, that just can't be true. They must have used some type of slang. Since you're so pressed to know, we might as well just travel back in time and figure it out. Last time, we learned some uses of slang and the importance of knowing your area of slang. Now, let's take a look at slang as a whole and then talk to some BCC students about the slang in the DMV. I was curious as to how slang works in general, so I decided to do some research on it. Slang is seen in informal, colloquial speech. The features of slang include humor, conciseness, originality, and instability. One of the commonly used tools for comedy in slang is rhyme. Some examples in America are the bee's knees, fender bender, razzle dazzle, and if you're from the DMV, real live Fox 5. Conciseness in slang is seen in abbreviations and acronyms. Originality has to do with having fun words, and it makes speaking more enjoyable. The feature of instability in slang happens because slang is an ever-changing cycle filled with many variations of different words. We can see this in adaptations of real-life slang. How does everyone spell jaw? J A J A J A So many ways to spell it. So stupid. J H I J I H J A H. Some people just go J I. J I H. J H I. J I H. Yes, let's go. Wow, it looks like a pretty even split. <laughs> J-A-H. Never put J-A-H, that looks stupid. It's, it's, it's J-H-I. I think you spell it J-H-I. You're just an idiot. Another example of the instability factor in slang doesn't show its differences within only one area, but three. In New York, the word joint is a noun for a thing, like anything. This word translates to John in Philly and jump in the DMV. Why do people use slang? People use it to feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves. Slang helps people feel a strong sense of community. Here in the DMV, we have the best community ever. That's probably why our slang is so tough. I tried to research the exact meanings and origins of our slang here, but got pretty much nothing except some dumb bloggers trying to sound cool. So I decided to ask people within the BCC community to tell me their favorite slang words and provide definitions. What's your favorite DMV slang term? Jai. Wellen. Wellen. Bush is my favorite right now. Define the term bard. Like, I swear. A torch. <laughs> Define torch. Um, 
something good and something lit. The word love. It's just like a cool word to use when talking to your homies. Ja. Uh, ja. 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 Go ahead, go ahead Mo. Our mothers, just got you stamp it. And that's what it is. That's the stamp of approval. I'm gonna go with step. Step. <laughs> All right. And what is the meaning of that? It's like you gotta go. Like you gotta leave. <laughs> you had to step. step. All right, bro. I'm about to head out. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm so happy I got to talk to you guys about slang. I hope that we all informed each other on the beautiful slang that we have here in the DMV. I hope you guys use it correctly. I hope you guys use it respectfully. Have a nice day. Back to you, Maya and Piero. Because of the terrible slang that I just heard, my new New Year's resolution is to stop using slang as much. <laughs> Good luck with that. Rude. But what's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to stop hanging out with people who ask me about my New Year's resolutions. Very funny. Well, if you don't have one, I guess we're just going to have to see what resolutions our parents have. What are your New Year's resolutions? Um, my New Year resolution is to mind my business and focus on me. To exercise more. To find one good thing that happened every day. To learn how to speak broke. Sorry, what'd you say? Sorry, what was the question? My New Year's resolution is to untangle these. Sorry, what'd you say? We don't speak wire. <laughs> to be more original. To be less of a follower. To be more original. To stop copying people. Be more original. To go against the grain. To be more authentic. To come up with my own ideas. To be more creative. To learn interpretive dance. To get more sleep. More sleep. To get better sleep. To sleep for 13 hours a night. To start going to school early. To wake up more than 15 minutes before the bus comes. To get into college. To eat more mayo. Eat more mayonnaise. To start eating olives because I used to hate olives. To drink more milk. To eat more donuts. To not buy stand. To regularly know what day of the week it is. One of a bag, no negative vibes. To fix my hairline. <laughs> <laughs> to be the best me that I can be because everyone else is already taken. Working harder. I'd like to improve my filmmaking over the new year. To copy my twin less. To copy my twin less. To stop cussing as much. Be on BCC TV. Sneak my way onto BCC TV. To fix my anemia. To fix my squishy nose. To stop procrastinating. To recycle more. To eat healthier. To exercise more. To not wear sweatpants to school anymore. To like, not say like in my sentences. To drink more water. <laughs> to make new friends. <laughs> to get better grades. To be more organized. To be more organized. To jumpstart my music career. To talk more with my family in college. To help people that are suffering. To speak more of my native language. Cut out toxic people. To be more insane. To size less. To live life like an art project. To do one perfect cartwheel. To swim faster. Become more juicy. To be so saucy people call me off right up. Get that bread. To get rid of senioritis. Finish Game of Thrones before the new season comes out. To be more loving towards Gay Botera. To study more. To get better grades. What are your resolutions for 2019? My New Year's resolution is uh, help my mom out, you know, uh, play football. I, I plan on going to school in Delaware. Uh, it's a D3 school uh, and just focus on what I love doing. Thanks for that, Barons. Switching gears, this week we have another Bartiste to meet. Let's take the time to see what they're all about. I'm Arden. I'm Gwen. I'm Abby. I'm Jackie. I'm Alejandro, and we're all seniors taking AP ceramics. My concentration is shoes and bags. My concentration is caps. My concentration is bees. My concentration is Iranian culture in the abstract. My concentration is robots. So mine was inspired by, I have like a shoe design business, so that was like my primary motivation for this. Um, and then I kind of like expanded it to bags also. I made this cat and Miss Grove told me it was cool and that my concentration should be cats, so it's cats now. I have a beehive in my backyard and I thought it'd be really interesting to explore. I did Iranian culture because that's where I'm from and I just did abstract because it allows me to do a larger variety of sculptures. I like robots and I like watching movies and robots. I like ceramics because you get to play with dirt during school. For me, it's like seeing like how a basic shape can turn into something like even more intricate because like you add things to it as the process goes, and I think it's really interesting to see how, where you start and where you finish. The most difficult thing in ceramics is probably like making your pieces structurally sound but also look good. 
because there is a chance it will blow up and when it does blow up that's just so like, painful. The best piece I ever made was either a really cool donut shaped teapot from last year or the bust of Rick Bader Ginsburg that I made recently. The best thing that I ever made was handsome Squidward. I definitely feel creatively supported at BCC. I think having like a group of like people I've been with now for three years in class and everything and having teachers like Miss Grove and Miss Trenick and all the ways our teachers here, I think it definitely makes, it, makes a difference. I think AP Ceramics is a good creative outlet because you have a lot of artistic freedom and you can really concentrate on whatever you want to. Join AP Ceramics. Keep up the great work, ceramic students. With winter break finally over, the best thing in the world is finally back. What's that? Baron Sports! Hey Barons, I'm Ariel. And I'm Liana. Last Wednesday, BCC Wrestling beat Poolsville in the biggest match of the season, 37-33. At the Battling Baron duels over the weekend, the Baron wrestlers went undefeated. They went 3-0 on Friday and 5-0 on Saturday. Also, wrestling punished Magruder 66-18 on Tuesday. Congrats to the Baron wrestlers on their win streak, and let's keep it going. Next Wednesday, January 16th, is a big match for BCC Wrestling and Baron Brigade in their push to states against Springbrook High. Come out to support the Barons' wrestling winning streak and get Baron Brigade points for your class. Girls basketball went 1-1 one one in their holiday tournament in Salisbury, losing to Walkersville and beating Parkerside. They have a game against WJ at 7.15 today. And if you can't make it to this one, come out and show your support for the Lady Ballers in their big home game next Tuesday at 5.30 against Whitman. Even though guys basketball lost against Gilman over the break, they came back with a win against Einstein on Monday. They moved up to a 3-5 on the season after a gutsy win against QO on Wednesday. Come watch basketball continue their two-game winning streak in their game against WJ today at 7-15. Indoor track and field had their holiday PR meet on December 22nd. Shout out to Alpha and Garmani on their new personal records for shot put. The girls got third in the 4 by 800 and shout out to Amir Kane for winning his heat in the 55 meter dash. The swim team split the WJ meet, with the girls coming away with the win. Congrats to Will Tempest, John Martyr, and Gavin May on the men's side for individual event wins. Congrats to Jill Berger, Jazz Berry, Eleanor McGrath, Samantha Smith, Kate Hallmark, and Christina Trinkus on the women's side for individual event wins. Come out to the senior meet this Saturday against Whitman at 11.30 at Only Aquatic Center to support your Barron swimmers. Now here's a Barron Brigade update. Seniors are in first place at 47 points. Juniors have 28 points, freshmen have 16 points, and sophomores, well, we have 10 points. Cool. Now, these points aren't just for the fun of supporting Baron Sports, but if your class wins, you'll be getting class shirts and a class party. Also, these events have fun prizes, like Baron <laughs> Lanyards. The next one is the wrestling match at Springbrook next Wednesday at 6.15. Well, that's all for sports this week, Barons. Back to you, Maya and Piero. Well, that's all for this week, Barons. Check back next Friday for more news, updates, and humor. Keep those standards high, BCC. And the Mayim CPS rainbows low. I'm Maya Broadwater. And I'm Piero Vasquez. And, and we're, we're signing, signing off. off. I don't play Fortnite yeah, either, Fortnite is but stuff my is friend good. was really good at it. And he's like, really, you should stop him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. But like, it's so much funny. Okay, okay. <laughs>